Hey guys, this is Vadim and welcome to Apple Insider. With the Snapdragon 845 processor, tons of RAM and a base price of $529, the new OnePlus 6 is being called the best bang for the buck smartphone on the market. We compared the $579 model, which has 8 gigs of RAM, to our iPhone X in our benchmark comparison video. And before you go down to the comments section, we're aware that there is a huge difference in price between these phones. But is the OnePlus 6, with the stripped down Android build, good enough to be a viable budget option to the iPhone X? Like many of you out there, I have a wife who also needs to replace her smartphone, so saving almost $1,000 on two phones is a big deal. The OnePlus 6 is marketed as having a 16 and 20 megapixel dual camera system, which sounds awesome because the iPhone X only has two 12 megapixel cameras, but that's not the whole story. The 20 megapixel sensor on the OnePlus 6 is actually restricted to gathering depth data for portrait mode. There is literally no way to see an image through this lens. Just watch as I cover the top lens and switch to and from portrait mode. So saying that the camera has a 20 megapixel sensor is pretty much all marketing. Let's jump right into the comparison with a lighting situation that's tough for any camera. The OnePlus 6 massively over sharpens the image. It seems overexposed and we can see a lot of noise compared to the same shot taken with iPhone X. If we look at the metadata, the OnePlus was at 100 ISO, a setting that increases brightness, but in turn introduces unpleasant noise into the image. The iPhone X's image was at a very low 20 ISO, so we'll naturally see a lot less noise. In fact, we looked through all the OnePlus 6's photos and found that it's limited to no less than 100 ISO, which is a huge downside for photo quality in bright conditions. The 10 was able to get as low as 16 ISO, drastically reducing noise. Moving on, we tested portrait modes. As you can see, the OnePlus 6 uses the wide lens for portrait mode, leaving the other one to collect depth data. The 10 did a much better job with the edges, whereas the OnePlus had issues in some places, like my hair. The 10 is also quite a bit more detailed. This is about as far away as the iPhone X will allow you to take a portrait photo. With the OnePlus 6, you can get incredibly far away, which is cool, but completely unrealistic. Here you see the minimum distance needed for portrait mode to work on both phones. This just shows you how much better close-up portraits look with a telephoto zoom lens. In this set of photos, we tried to match the framing by bringing the Plus 6 closer. As you can see, the iPhone X zoom lens has more compression of the background, which enlarges it for a more pleasant portrait photo. However, the colors on the OnePlus are much more natural, and it actually looks more detailed. Here's another portrait photo. I actually like the OnePlus's photo better. There's more blur on the wider background, and the white balance is more accurate. This non-portrait photo, however, is the opposite. It butchers the white balance compared to the 10, but it's also more detailed. And here we try to get as close as we could while maintaining focus. The iPhone X's photo just looks incredible. Here's a close-up photo of a tree for detail. The 10's contrast is completely unrealistic. The OnePlus churned out a photo that looks exactly like we saw in real life, despite being less detailed than the 10. Now with panorama mode, both phones did great, so you decide which is better. We took a couple more HDR photos, and the OnePlus overexposed again, making it look just terrible. Here, it's not as bad, and looks very comparable to the 10, so you decide. Now onto the selfie camera. The iPhone 10 again goes way overboard on the contrast, making the shadows under the eyes darker. Detail is about even, and both phones miss the mark for white balance. The iPhone, of course, has selfie portrait mode, a feature that the OnePlus lacks. We tested dynamic range for selfies. The OnePlus absolutely failed. It went nuts on the sharpening, revealing every single pore on his face. The 10 doesn't look as detailed, obviously, but we'd much rather have that instead. Since the OnePlus 6 doesn't have a telephoto lens, we decided to see how much detail you lose when using 2x digital zoom instead of the telephoto zoom on the 10. The difference in detail is obvious, and the OnePlus again overexposed, washing out the colors in the grass. However, the white balance is spot on to what we saw in real life. The iPhone X can digitally zoom up to 10 times with its telephoto lens, so we thought we'd compare zoom detail. The OnePlus 6 can actually only zoom up to 8 times, and it tried desperately to bring out the details by over sharpening. We then decided to shoot against the sun. The 10 did a much better job dealing with lens flare, so the sky looks pleasantly blue, but the Plus 6 did better in terms of dynamic range. I myself took a selfie, and we can see that the Plus 6 over sharpened the image. This time, the colors on the 10 look much more pleasant. As you can see, the selfie camera on the OnePlus is actually quite a bit wider, with each selfie taken at arm's length away. Now for a low light flash photo in the office, the OnePlus got the warmth right, although it oversaturated a bit. The 10 just looks kind of flat. In this one, 
the OnePlus surprises us with a photo that's better in pretty much every way. To finish off our testing, here's one to compare detail, and if you crop in, we actually see more detail on the OnePlus. We definitely weren't expecting the OnePlus 6 to hold up as well as it did. There were shortcomings in terms of missing features, overexposing, oversharpening, and some failed high dynamic range photos. But overall, it did pretty well. The accurate white balance was probably my favorite thing about it. I've gotta say, for $529, you're definitely not sacrificing too much in terms of camera quality. Let us know what you thought about this comparison in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one, and we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.